Hello everybody and welcome back to the Decision Desk HQ YouTube channel. Since it attained statehood in 1850, California has grown to become the largest state in the entire country. As a result, it has the largest congressional delegation, 52 members. For most of its history, California has seen its congressional districts grow. But going back as recently as the 20th century, the state only had 8 seats in the House. As California continued to swell in population, it wouldn't be uncommon for the state to gain multiple districts in a single cycle, like the 8 it gained after the 1960 census, or the 7 it gained following the 1990 census. The 2020 census delivered an oddity, however. California lost a congressional district for the first time in its history. Population growth has slowed or reversed, and it's anticipated that California will continue to lose congressional districts in the near future. In fact, if current trends continue, the state could lose as many as five congressional districts in the 2030 reapportionment cycle. As a result of Proposition 20 passing in 2010, both California's congressional and legislative maps are drawn by an independent commission. The 14-member panel has five Democrats, five Republicans, and four independents. The most recent redistricting commission had a decidedly liberal bent, with even one of its most Republican members, Jane Anderson of Berkeley, seemingly leaning left. It's not a surprise then that the current map made some unusual decisions that benefited Democrats on paper. In particular, the draw of California's 20th congressional district includes unusual tendrils to draw in seemingly as many Republican voters as possible, leaving the surrounding Central Valley seats more Democratic as a result. However, the map is far from a Democratic gerrymander, or at least one the Democratic-controlled legislature would have drawn. On paper, California's congressional districts give Biden a 45 to 7 advantage, with two of the Trump seats, CA03 and CA41, only decided by less than 2%. On the Democratic side, eight districts voted for Biden by 15% or less, and this likely represents the upper edge of competitiveness for Republicans. The ceiling for Democrats, then, is likely 47 to 5 while Republicans would be hard-pressed to win more than 15 districts even in the best of years. California's population consists primarily of whites, Hispanics, and Asians. White voters make up a majority or plurality in 26 districts, while Hispanics make up a majority or plurality in 21, and the remaining five districts are majority or plurality Asian. As you can tell, many congressional districts in California are extremely diverse, and a large number do not have a single racial group comprising a majority of the population. White voters are predominant in Northern California, the Southern and Western LA suburbs, and parts of the Central Valley and Bay Area. The whitest district in the state is CA03, which stretches from the Sacramento suburbs into ski country. Hispanic voters make up the largest share of the electorate in the Central Valley and many Los Angeles area districts. The district with the largest Hispanic population, CA22, stretches from Kings and Tulare counties into Bakersfield. Asian voters are concentrated in the Bay Area and Los Angeles suburbs. Only one district, the San Jose-based CA-17, has a majority Asian population, although two others, CA-45 and CA-28, are over 40% Asian. California does not have a very large black population. Black voters are mainly concentrated in a handful of districts in the Los Angeles area, specifically CA-37 and CA-43 where black voters make up over 25% of the electorate, and the Oakland and Berkeley-based CA-12, where black voters are 18% of the electorate. Educational attainment in California is broadly well above average, but in many ways represents an extreme. California has 18 of the top 100 districts in college education, but also 18 of the top 100 least college-educated districts. Four of the top 10 most educated districts nationwide are in California, as well as five of the top 10 least educated districts. Educational attainment is most apparent in the Bay Area, and in the affluent Los Angeles suburbs of Southern California. 
In CA 36, which encompasses affluent neighborhoods in Los Angeles County, 64% of adults have a bachelor's degree or higher, the third largest total in the United States. Also ranking near the top are the San Francisco area CA 11, 5th, and CA 16, 8th, and the Asian majority CA 17, 10th, which also ranks as the wealthiest in the entire country. In contrast, college education is lowest in the state's Central Valley, which has a large Hispanic population and a heavy focus on agriculture, as well as the more rural areas in the far reaches of San Bernardino, Riverside, and Imperial Counties. CA-22, which draws in Kings County, Tulare County, and a large portion of Bakersfield, is the least college-educated district in the entire nation. Only 9.1% of adults have a bachelor's degree or higher and neighboring CA-13 is the third least college educated at 12.2%. That's all for today's video. We hope you guys enjoyed this California overview of congressional districts and electoral politics. Please make sure to subscribe to the Decision Desk YouTube channel down below and turn on notifications so you never miss one of our videos. Please also leave a like if you want to see more of this type of content and comment any thoughts, reactions, or suggestions you have. All comments are welcome and appreciated. We'll see you next time.